All right, today's task is getting all the mounts done for this guy. Picked this guy up a couple weeks ago. It's a Ramsey 700R, 15,000 pound PTO winch. Mount this on the front of the F600 4x4. So I gotta make two new angle irons, drill the holes, one for the rear. One for the front. And then we gotta clean, clean up both the uh, frame rails from when I cut the old bumper mounts off. Welded it on instead of just drilling six holes. So, that's today's project. mocked up I gotta do some changes to it 
these angle irons I was hoping to have it mounted this way so when I b build the top of the bumper up here the winch would be underneath it and protect the cable I still have a work surface that's not gonna happen I gotta flip these angle irons 180 degrees and then notch the end so they fit up into the frame extensions or bumper extensions here mostly for clearance of its uh, drive shaft So I've got about three inches from the bump stop to the bottom of the frame, and there's three inches right there. PTO output back there. And that's gonna have to come up a little bit farther, but like that. That gives a a significant downward angle to the PTO shaft which isn't a big deal doesn't matter if it goes up or down as long as it's uh, no more than I think 14 degrees got a little little over two inches of clearance up there backhoe up bring it back over here re-rig the winch and get it ready get flipped around and I'm also going to take this whole assembly, move it back in two and a half inches. I'll be able to catch that bolt hole right there. It's drilled out for 716, so I'm going to make that half inch. Give it another spot to bolt to. Because up here at the front of this, I need three inches hanging out past the front of the bumper so I can drill that and be able to mount a shackle. All right, I'll bring it back. Uh, I get rigged up and start cutting. <laughs> 